is Storytime with Miss Cherry, and today we're going to learn all about autumn animals or fall animals. So boys and girls, do you remember the song from last week about the five little leaves? We're going to sing that first and then I'm going to teach you a brand new song, alright? Can you get your five little leaves out? Miss Cherry is going to bring out her little tree right here. Are you ready? Five little leaves high up in the tree, along comes the fall breeze as windy as can be. One little leaf fell down, 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 falling till it hits the ground. Now how many left? That's right, four. Can you show me four? Four little leaves high up in the tree, along comes the fall breeze as windy as can be. One little leaf fell down, 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 falling till it hits the ground. Now how many left? That's right, three. Ready? Three little leaves high up in the tree, along comes the fall breeze as windy as can be. One little leaf fell down, 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 falling till it hits the ground. Perfect. Now how many left? Two, that's right. Two little leaves high up in the tree. Along comes the fall breeze as windy as can be. One little leaf fell down, 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 falling till it hits the ground. How many leaf now? That's right, one. Can you show me one? One little leaf high up in the tree, along comes the fall breeze as windy as can be. One little leaf fell down, 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 falling till it hits the ground. Boys and girls, are there any leaves up on the tree? No, because they all fell down. That's right. Well, Miss Cherry is going to teach you a new song today, and we're going to need a little bit of room to move around because we're going to be shaking our bottom as a tail for our squirrel song. So our song is called Gray Squirrel, and I'm going to teach you the action to the song first. So when I say Gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, swish a bushy tail, I want you to stand up. I want you to go shake, shake, shake like this. All right, you do that. That's right. So, gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. Hold the nut between your toes. Wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. That's the song. Let's do it again. All right, ready? Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. Hold the nut between your toes. Wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish a bushy tail. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's find your spot on the floor or on your chair. All right, boys and girls, Miss Cherry's gonna show you some of the autumn animals that come up during the fall time, and they have a very special job to do because they need to collect nuts before they go for their hibernation. Hibernation means that they go to sleep during the winter time. They don't come out to get food. They sleep all winter long until it's springtime. So it's very important for these animals to come out during fall time to collect all their food. So she's going to show you the first autumn animal and we're going to read a story about this autumn animal. Do you know what this animal is called? And we say it in our song too. That's right, it's the squirrel. So the squirrel likes to come out during the fall time. And do you know what they like to eat boys and girls? They like to eat acorns and I wonder if you know what this is. What are these spiky balls? That's right, they're chestnuts. So this is how the chestnut look like from the tree. They come out from a spiky ball. So Miss Cherry's gonna crack it up. And that's how the chestnut looks like. This is how a real chestnut Let's looks like. Let's see what's another animal that likes to come out during the fall time. What is this animal? 
That's right, that's the fox. The fox also likes to come out during the fall time, especially the red fox. How about this animal? It is a deer, that's right. You know what deers like to eat? They like to eat acorns and berries. Now here's another animal that likes to go, hoo, hoo. What animal is that? That's right, it's the owl. And that's, they like to go on a tree. Now do you know what owls like to eat? They like to eat rats and little frogs and sometimes squirrels too. And this is another autumn animal that we have for art today. Do you know what this is? It's a hedgehog. You know what a hedgehog likes to eat? They like to eat nuts and berries too. So these are some of our autumn animals that like to come out. So let's go over them. This is the owl. This is the deer. That's the fox the squirrel, and the hedgehog. Boys and girls, are you ready for the story today? It is called Nuts to You, and it's about a squirrel. All right, I would like you to sit crisscross applesauce or on a chair and turn on your listening ears. See that squirrel in our tree? I think he'd rather live with me. I'll wait a while. He could be shy, or maybe he likes it way up high. Look, here he comes, trying to hide. He can't wait to get inside. Where is the squirrel, boys and girls? It's right here. He's in the flowers. He's really bad. He's digging up bubs. My mom is mad. Look, he took away a tulip bulb. There he goes, up the bricks on his claws. He steals seeds and eats with his paws. Squirrels are great climbers, boys and girls. Walking on tiptoe, tail held high, he brushes my plants as he sips by. And they're also very, very quick. In our window box, watching us eat, he sits on the flowers and begs for a treat. I opened my window for some fresh air, but I forgot the screen had a tear. When I came back, guess what I found? That squirrel was there looking around. <gasps> Did it get inside? So I got some nuts and ran out the door, tapped on the sidewalk and left a few more. Nuts to you, I shouted loud as I could. The squirrel peeked out, I knew he would. He looked to the left, he looked to the right, he ran down the bricks and took a big bite. He ate all those nuts then scrambled away, but he'll get hungry again someday. I'll keep nuts in my pockets, one or two. And when I see him, I'll say, nuts to you. The end. Wasn't that a nice book about the squirrel? Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to play our game? Remember, Miss Cherry was telling you that you need to remember all those different autumn animals which I have right here. 
Miss Cherry is actually going to take away one of these autumn animals and you have to guess which one I took away. So are you ready for this game? Perfect! Okay boys and girls, which animal is missing from my autumn scene? Do you remember? Well, Miss Cherry is going to count to three and I want you to shout out the answer. Are you ready? One, two, three. Which animal is missing? That's right, it's the owl. And do you remember what sound the owl makes? Hoo, 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 hoo. That's right. Okay, boys and girls, get ready to guess which autumn animal Miss Cherry took away. Can you remember? Miss Cherry's gonna count to three. I want you to shout out the answer. Ready? One, two, three. Which animal is it? That's right, it is the fox. Okay, which autumn animal is missing? Do you remember? All right, I'm gonna count to three and I want you to tell me the answer. Ready? One, two, three. Which animal is it? That's right, it's the spiky animal called the hedgehog. All right, what autumn animal is missing this time? That's right, boys and girls, all of them. But do you remember all the autumn animals that were on here? Let's see. Do you remember what the spiky animal is called? That's right, it's the hedgehog. How about the little animal that likes to eat acorns and chestnut and likes to climb on a tree? The squirrel. How about the animal that stays up at nighttime? The owl and the deer. And last one is the fox. Good job, boys and girls. That is all the time that we have for game today. But if you want to continue playing at home, you can always play one of Miss Cherry's boom cards or mommy and daddy can print out some of Miss Cherry's printable and you can play and do some of the printable at home as well. Today our craft is going to be on the hedgehog. So boys and girls, you are going to need a white piece of paper, construction paper or cardstock, and you're going to need brown construction paper and you're going to cut out a little shape of the hedgehog. Then, boys and girls, you are going to need some paint. And I used black paint, but you can use brown paint or whatever color paint you have at home. And you know how Miss Cherry made those little paint marks? Miss Cherry used a fork, so you're going to need a fork to paint with. And of course, you can glue some googly eyes on if you have that at home. If not, you're welcome to draw it on. And Miss Cherry put a black pom pom for the hedgehog nose. But if you don't have a pom-pom, guess what? You can always draw it on or if you have a black button and whatever you can find in the house to make your head chart, boys and girls. So boys and girls, that is it for this week's story time and I will see you all next time. Bye!